Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the BIOS flashback feature on the ASUS Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2 motherboard. And the reason you might need to do this is because maybe you have an older motherboard that's been sitting on the shelf for a while, and the processor you have for your system is not supported by your motherboard. So I'm going to show you how to use this specific technique to flash the BIOS on your motherboard even before you install your CPU. It just requires the motherboard and a power supply. You don't need to have a CPU installed, no memory needs to be installed, and you don't have to have any storage or GPU installed to do this. Before we go any further, let's talk about why we're doing this. This is a low level way to update your BIOS if your system won't post. If your system already will post, you don't need to do this. You can use the ASUS Easy Flash feature that's built into the BIOS. And you can pause the video and read the rest of this, but there's no need to do this because it's more complicated than the Easy Flash feature unless you need to do it because your system won't post. And the main reason that might happen is maybe your CPU is not supported by the BIOS that's on the motherboard that you have when you bought it from the store because maybe it was sitting on a shelf in a warehouse for several months. Before we get started on this procedure, I just wanna show the key steps to using BIOS flashback. And again, you can pause the video and read all these steps, but make sure you either watch the video or follow these steps exactly because this procedure is a very low level procedure with no margin for error. So if you make one little mistake, like not renaming the BIOS file, it's not going to work. So please pay attention and watch the entire video and this should work just fine for you. The first step in this procedure is to download the correct BIOS for your exact motherboard model. And in order to do that, you've got to find your exact motherboard model on the ASUS support website. And usually when you just Google it, you're going to end up on the features page like you see here. And I'll have a link in the description to this, but what you want to do to actually download the correct BIOS file is go to the support page. And you need to go to the BIOS and firmware like you see right there. And if you scroll down, you can see all the different BIOS versions that have been released for this particular motherboard. And again, this is critical because ASUS has a lot of motherboards with similar names. And if you download the file for a different motherboard, it's not gonna work for you. So the, for this particular motherboard, this is the latest BIOS version. And it was released on July 14th, 2023. And that's the latest one at the time of recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And that comes down quite quickly because it's a very small file. And then after you download it, there's a couple steps you'll have to do next to get it ready to use. We've downloaded the file and now we need to get it ready to use to actually flash the BIOS. And before you do that, what you should double check is to make sure that Windows file extensions are turned on on your system. By default in Windows 10 and Windows 11, they're not gonna be turned on. And you can come to the view menu and just check and make sure that file name extensions are enabled on your system. And then the second thing you should check is the USB drive that you're gonna to use to flash the BIOS with, preferably should be a USB 2.0 drive. USB 3 drives don't seem to be quite as reliable as 2.0 drives, but regardless of that, you need to go in to your USB drive like I have here and check the properties and make sure that it's formatted in FAT32 like you see here. If it's formatted with NTFS or XFAT, this procedure will not work. And you'll have to go in and reformat the drive to FAT32, which obviously will erase anything that's on that USB drive. The next step is to get that BIOS file that you downloaded ready to use on the USB flash drive. And by default, it should be in the downloads folder of your system, like you see here for me. And it's gonna be a zip file, so you need to right click and pick extract all to create a folder that has the unzipped copy of that. And if you go into that new folder, what you'll see are two files here. And you're gonna to have to rename this file, but rather than doing it yourself, it's easier just to double click on this BIOS renamer executable and it'll just do the work for you. And once you do that, 
then you have it with the correct name for your motherboard. And this is a critical step. If this name is not correct, this BIOS flashing feature is not gonna work. And then after you have this ready to go with the right name, you're gonna have to copy it down to the root of your USB drive. And what I mean by the root is the top level, not inside of a folder directory. So don't copy it into some existing folder or directory. And it's okay if there's other stuff on the drive. So you can just copy it down like this to the root of that USB drive. And it's a fairly small file and it should not take very long to copy. And now the USB drive is ready to go. Okay, let's stop for a second and review what we've done. We've gotten the BIOS file ready to go and it's on the USB drive. So the next step is to go and get the motherboard ready. Now we're gonna get the motherboard ready. You need to plug in the 24 pin main power connector right there. And then you need to plug in the eight pin EPS connector down there. And that's all you need. You don't need a CPU, you don't need a GPU, and you don't need any memory here. And then the next step after that is to turn on your power supply. So if you have a switch, just turn it on like you see right there. Now, after all this work, we're finally ready to flash the BIOS. So right there is the USB port that you plug in the USB drive. And that's the button you're gonna to push to start the BIOS flashback process. And then right there is the LED that's gonna flash while the BIOS is being flashed, which will take five to six minutes. So before you do this, you've got to put the USB drive in the correct USB port. And then you just push the button and hold it down for two to three seconds. And what should happen after you do that is you'll see that little green LED flashing on the motherboard. And you'll probably also see an LED flashing on your USB drive. So I'm going to switch to a different angle there and you can see it from below and it's already flashing. You can see the green LED flashing and the reflection right there. And then in a couple seconds, I'll switch to another angle and you can see what it looks like from above. And all you really need to pay attention to while this is happening is that green LED that's flashing. The LED on your USB drive, if it has one, may or may not be flashing. It'll flash intermittently, but you want to see that green LED on the motherboard flashing for five to six minutes. If it only flashes for a few seconds and stops, then that means the process didn't work. And this is going to keep on flashing. And then when it's done, it'll stop flashing. And you, again, you can see that it's flashing and that the USB is intermittently flashing, but the motherboard LED is what you wanna pay attention to. Now, after five to six minutes, it should finally be done. And I just happened to get lucky and catch it from my third camera here. And you're gonna see that LED just stop flashing. And that means it's done. So once it's finally done, then you just go in and turn off your power supply and you're totally done with this process. Okay, so it looks like we successfully flashed the BIOS. What do we do next? Well, I'll turn off the power supply and unplug it, and then assemble your system to the point where you can see if it will post. And you can pause this and read all the other steps, but basically just put your system together and see if it works. Here's a list of the most common mistakes that people make when they try to do this procedure. As I said before, this procedure has no margin for error, so you've got to do every single step correctly. So you might want to pause the video and read this list because this will catch most of the things that people end up skipping or doing not quite correctly. I'm going to wrap this up with a list of frequently asked questions. The first one that comes up a lot is, can I do this with a fully assembled system? And the answer is yes, you can, but it's really important that you don't turn on the system with the case power button. It can't be running when you try to do this. And other than that, just follow the directions in the video as you would with a bare system. And then another question that comes up is, do I need to do this if my system will already post? And the answer is no. You should use the ASUS Easy Flash 3 feature that's built into the BIOS. It's a lot easier to do than this. Another question is, is it safe to use a beta BIOS for this? I think it is, but if you're nervous about it, then don't use a beta BIOS version. And then finally, a lot of people will come back and say, I tried this and it doesn't work. What do I do? 
Well, it's usually a problem with your USB flash drive or the BIOS file that you downloaded. You skipped a step or you downloaded the wrong BIOS or you didn't rename it properly. But whatever the case may be, leave a comment that describes what happens when you try to do the procedure and I'll try to help you. But if you just say it didn't work, what do I do? I really can't help you very much. So I want to thank you for watching this video and please give it a like if you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Thanks a lot. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMB LLC and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Really? <laughs> you have a lot to say. <laughs>